<laughs> What's going on guys? More Medic One here. And today we are going to do a starter repair. It just happens to be on a steel, the FS240. Uh, but this repair could cover a vast quantity of different makes and models. So what we're gonna do, we need to remove the little pin there. Pull it off. And you remove your washer. You don't lose them. You can go ahead and pull the dog out just so you don't lose it. Now just kind of twist her back and forth to kind of dislodge the spring. Make sure you're not going to pull the spring out with it. And just flip it over. Everything looks good. Now there's a little trick to this and I had a, a mechanic show me many years ago whenever you go to start putting the rope in you want to go in and kind of twist and it'll corkscrew itself up like this. And it'll just walk right up the end of that rope rotor just like it's supposed to. Just tie you one little simple overhand knot. Make the knot as short as possible to where it has a good flat base right here, just like that and just pull the knot back down through. Oh, by the way, this is uh, number four rope, one eighth inch in diameter. So you got your rope rotor with the rope installed. So we're gonna take the rope and we're gonna drag it all the way across and set it to our right over here. And then make sure you put the rope through the eyelet And then we're going to set the rope rotor back down onto our starter. We're gonna make sure it engages with the spring. So just turn it until it pops down. Just like that. Now your rope's going to be going the wrong way. You don't wanna pull it with the rope going the wrong way because you can damage the spring. So just get you a little pick Pick up the rope and turn it the other way, like this. So now that rope's going the right way. If you had it going the other way, it would uh, you could possibly damage the spring. At this point, we are going to reinstall the dog. our thrust washer and then reinstall your starter dog clip. Now when you install the clip you want to orientate it because you can put it backwards. If you put it backwards it won't work. But you just want to orientate the clip to where whenever you, you start pulling the rope and the rope rotor starts turning it kicks that starter dog out just like that. Pretty simple. And just feed your other end of the rope through your starter handle. If it's too thick, we may have to burn the end of that rope a little bit.
kind of feather it off to a point there. Yeah, there we go. And just do you another overhand knot. Pull it tight. Push your rope down into the starter. Handle. Now at this point, now we can start making our, our wraps around the rope loader. Make about four wraps and then check it. Too much rope so we can trim some of this rope off you don't want your rope rotor so full that it just unspools itself or falls off the rope rotor so you want about like I said about a half a rope's width down in there left so we're gonna have to trim off about six inches of this rope should just about be perfect. We're not banging against the end of the spring. We've got just the right amount of tension that it makes the rope suck down and the starter handle is not loose. However, if you if your starter handle is just a little loose, you can take and make one more wrap with the rope like this right here. that better just one more wrap that it needed just remount your starter back on your trimmer tighten up your screws crank and let me warn you if you are a weakling and you didn't eat your Wheaties these trimmers have about a million pounds of compression hmm. not gonna lie this is my second starter repair on this model trimmer just within the last few hours
choke. I like to find that bump right there so it's on the compression stroke and just give it a quick jerk. It's an echo starter handle on there, so it doesn't fit down in there just perfectly, but it is what it is. It's what they brought me to fix it with. Friday, guys, we got the starter rope fixed on the big block steel here. Man, that thing runs good. It's uh, starter repairs on these are daily because of the compression. Man, they got a compression. I think they it's so much that it, it ought to have a compression release. I've never seen a compression release on a trimmer though but man will these things eat i'm talking about just run golly steel fs240 get you some <laughs> if this helped you out give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and while you're there click the bell so you'll get all my new videos y'all have a good rest of your day more medic one